Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning and me and Hayden are going out to do some a try a coupon deal at Dollar General and I'm going to take you guys along with us. Um, I'm hoping it works. I'm going to try to figure it up. I'm going to grab breakfast right now and I'm going to refigure up the price and let you guys know what I think it's going to be and we'll see how it works out. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Good morning. Um, yes, if I could get a number five combo in a medium with a bottle of water. Number five, medium with bottled water. Can I get you anything else? That will be all. 639. Thank you, Java, please. Thank you. Alright, guys. So, I got some Hardy's breakfast. I haven't had Hardy's breakfast in forever. I'll show it to you guys. Alright, this is what it looks like. This is how I like to eat it. Biscuits and gravy with the hash browns on top. And when you order a medium combo, they give you two waters, which is really nice. So I'll get back to you guys after I eat. We're going to go over our coupon stuff. Little man, if you can see in the rearview mirror. I don't know, my hand's in the way. He's sleeping back there. I don't think you could see, but he's sleeping. So I'm going to try to get this eat quick. And um, I'll let you guys know the coupon breakdown. Okay, so I tried to break it down here just for my brain when we get in there. Um, the Huggies are $7.50 right now on sale, and there's a $2 off coupon, so that makes the Huggies $5.50. The Crest toothpaste that we're going to buy, we're going to look for a $3 one, which um, there's a $2 off coupon, brings it to $1. We're going to look at a Johnson & Johnson baby product, and they're $4 right now on sale. Um, there's a $2 off coupon that's going to make them $2. Um, the Downy is on sale for $4.50, and there's a $2 off coupon, so that makes it $2.50. And then Febreze's are $3, and so we're going to get two Febreze's, which makes it 6 bucks. And there's a $3 off coupon when you buy two, so that brings it to $3. Our, yeah, so it's basically like you got one free anyways. So here's our coupons. Well, this all adds up originally to $25 exactly. So we get this five off of spend five off for spending 25. You have to clip that. So five dollars comes off automatically. Then we do the two and then minus two and minus two minus two minus three. And it comes to nine dollars before tax out of pocket. If I figured this up right. So for that, for getting huggies. Crest toothpaste, Johnson Johnson babies um, wash or shampoo, whatever you want to get, Downy, and then two bottles of Febreze. That is an amazing deal when the diapers normally almost cost this much. So Hayden only has one pack of size four diapers from a baby shower, and he's still not there yet. We're like in threes, and we have tons of threes. But I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try on my number and my husband's number today to get two of these coupon deals and get two things of Huggies and we'll get Johnson & Johnson stuff and Downy and all those things and yeah so this is gonna be a great deal so I'm gonna try this I might even throw in there's a right guard which is a um, deodorant there's a right guard coupon for a dollar off and I found one at my Dollar General for $1.75. I know a lot of people's Dollar Generals have them in the dollar section but mine didn't and the cheapest one I found was $1.75 so with the coupon you'd pay 75 cents. I might get that just to make sure none of these things ring up cheaper and my price is under 25 and I don't get to use that. So okay we're gonna go into Dollar General and give this a try. Hey guys, so um, if you can hear that, that's the baby. He's um, hold on, honey. Let me pause it and I'll go get him. Okay, guys, so I got the baby here. You want to see yourself? Look at all this stuff. 
So I got kind of all the couponing stuff like right here down in front of me. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys, I was really disappointed with my Dollar General haul today. I haven't really been couponing for a while. I've just been trying to get back into it. And I had planned this, I had seen this lady do this, um, a lady I subscribe to. I think she's called One Cute Couponer. I'm pretty o like OCC or something, One Cute Couponer. Cute, cute, Cute couponer. Whoo! If we could get that out. So, um, she had did like a scenario for people that had babies and was trying to do more of a baby haul than just like detergent and toothpaste and stuff and was trying to put like diapers and Johnson & Johnson products and different things like that. So I was like, oh, her thing is awesome. I'm going to follow hers. Um, you could like pick different things. It was a lot of like different types, different scents. There was a lot of products that we use or I would like. And so I went with it and the whole thing I had showed you guys earlier, I had wrote it out, figured up that if everything rang up correctly and nothing was cheaper, that it should have came to exactly $25 before tax. So the first store I go into, I had all the things go up to the register and I should have waited just to be just to be sure to see if this was the problem. Um, I put my phone number in and stuff as the guy was ringing things up, so my coupons start coming off. Well, he tells me I owe fifteen dollars, so I'm like, okay, well clearly my five for twenty five didn't come off because I should with tax owe around ten dollars because it was nine dollars before tax. So the guy at the register wasn't really understanding, and I was trying to ask him you know, kind of what my total was before the coupons came off. Did I need something else to put it over 25 to get the $5? Like it wasn't really making sense to me. So I ended up just paying $15 because it was a good deal. And I'm going to end up adding up for you guys here in a second. I just laid it out. I'm going to show you guys what I got. And I'm going to show you guys what it would have cost and what I ended up paying. I did have good savings. But it just wasn't, it was so disappointing because it wasn't, you know, what it was supposed to be. And I get so down because I try to coupon and then a lot of times it doesn't work out for me like it works out for the person and I don't understand. The second place I went to, I even bought a oh. Coke. Ooh, excuse you. He just had a bottle, so I'm hoping he doesn't spit up. Mm, I love you. You're the best little guy to be in the video with. But... I went to our second Dollar General in town and I bought all the same stuff except um, my first Dollar General I had size 4 diapers, they had size 5, a couple different scents but I bought all the same brand, all the same stuff. Even bought a Coke just to make sure it took it over the $25 if that was the issue. And it's still, the guy even said it took off all your coupons but not the 5 for 25 and like he didn't even understand why the five for 25 wasn't coming off because I was like, well, isn't it supposed to work if everything's over $25 before tax and coupons? Like I thought that was the deal. That's how everybody gets the Dollar General deals. So I was a little frustrated with that. So one of the places I paid 15, I think the other was like 16 or 17. So what I wanted to pay was about $9 before tax, so around $10 and some change after tax is what I was supposed to pay. So it was a little bit frustrating, but still a great deal. If you look at it and think, you know, of the regular prices, I'm gonna add up all the prices for you guys, tell you guys what I ended up paying. If I can find, I can't find my second receipt, so I don't know if it's in my car. I don't know, but this is the one from the first store. And it looks like everything, it looked like to me when I looked over it when I got in the car. I was kind of frustrated. But it looked like to me everything rang up how it was supposed to. So I'm not understanding. That's the part I don't get. I don't understand why it works for some people, why it doesn't work for other people. It's very frustrating. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys still the haul because it's still a good haul. It's still a good couponing deal for the name brand things you get. I love you. Are you talking to? See, it's still a good deal and it's still a good haul. And we got the baby stuff. I'm not complaining. 
I just get frustrated because I never get the same deals people get. They'll be like, I found this at Dollar General for this price or something. They're like, there was this deodorant the other day you could get for free, but my Dollar General didn't have it. Just, I don't know. We'll figure it out one day. It's a learning process, but hey, it was still good for all this stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what we got. So I got the Clean Breeze Ultra Downy. This was the first thing. These were on sale for $4.50. Um, it's 1.53 liters. So basically one and a half liters. Um, I got, the next one I wanted to try this because I've never tried any of these. And these were $4.50. They were included with the digital coupon. It's Ultra Downy Infusions, also $4.50. So I gave those a try. They both smell amazing. Um, for the baby products, I got one Johnson & Johnson Head to Toe Wash and Shampoo. These have lasted forever. We are still using the same one um, when Hayden was born because you just use it sparingly on a little washcloth and it goes such a long way. So we're stocked up on these and now we're even more stocked up. The second one I got was a thing of baby lotion because we do have a bunch of baby wash. So I did get a thing of the Johnson & Johnson Baby lotion. Both of those were on sale for $4. Um, now the Crest, these were $3. Um, I got the Crest with um, extra whitening. And I got the Crest with scope. So I got both of those. They were both $3. Had two $2 coupons off. So they were just a dollar. Um, I got the Febreze. I got two of the Febreze Air. You like those? I got actually all of the Febreze Air, but just different scents. There were two of these that were just the regular linen and sky. That's like my favorite scent. I got one with the Gain, original Gain. That was the Febreze Air. And then I got this Febreze Bora Bora Waters. And that smelled good too. And then these right here were originally like $8.50, $8 or $8.50. So, I mean, right there, these two diapers would have cost as much as one haul. So, I mean, we did do good. Um, the first Dollar General I went to had size four diapers, so I got those there. The second Dollar General I went to did not have size four, so I got size five, because he also only has one pack of size five. So, now we'll have two packs of size four and two packs of size five. So it'll be a little while till he's in those. He's only 17 pounds and he's got a bunch of size threes. Size fours don't start till 22 pounds. So you've got some time to grow a little boy before you're in these. But I'm gonna, while I'm here, do you guys, I also might just show you my haul from last night. I went out with my mom to TJ Maxx and Bed Bath & Beyond. No, Bath & Body Works. I always mix those up. So I might go ahead and just show you guys those hauls too because they're sitting in the bags beside me. So, let me grab, if I can do this. So in TJ Maxx, I spent $31.55 and I got this little cute outfit. Do you see this, Hey, hey? This is for you. I got this for Hayden with the cute little sh um, like sear sucker shorts. Um, I got this for his first trip to the beach this summer. We want to take him to the beach and it's 18 months, which I, which I think like this summer definitely will fit him because he's like wearing nine month clothes already and he's four months. So I definitely, he's just really long. Like this outfit he has on right now is six to nine months and it's fitting him and he's four months. So I definitely think 18 months will be a good fit and it's just little shorts and a shirt and it's so beachy. This was $9.99. Originally, it was $18. So, $10. As you guys can see in my haul that's posting right now, or not my haul, my vlog that's posting right now, if it has or it will be posting, our can opener is broken. So, my mom found this one and brought it up to me in the store. It was a sharper image. It was $4.99. So, we really badly needed that. This was on clearance because it was cracked open. See these, baby? See those? 
they're little fishing toys and they're 12 months and up so it'll be a little while before you can use them but they were on clearance for three dollars just because the package was crap and i'm pretty sure these are like at target and stuff for way more than this so yeah and they can fish that one's really fun so three dollars for that these i got for our nieces when we do easter egg hunt this year the one my one little niece um loves play-doh and it says treats without the sweets so it's spring eggs and there's 10 eggs that have play-doh in them so i thought while hiding other eggs to hide these play-doh eggs and they some of them i have two nieces and they can get some play-doh eggs so i thought that would be fun it'll be kind of more incentive if you say hey there's some eggs out there that have play-doh in them they'll be wanting to find those eggs and they were $5.99 and then me and Devin have, if you've seen in a previous Costco haul that I have on my channel, um, we went ahead and started getting some Christmas presents. So um, this was $5.99 and I'm like, I feel like they stickered this wrong because $5.99 for this is really cheap. And it's for my niece who loves Play-Doh. I went ahead and got it for her for Christmas next year. It's this kitchen. Isn't that cool, buddy? I feel like his mouth went, isn't that cool? Soon mom is going to be buying all this stuff for you, but this is three up. This was only $5.99. Look, he likes it. And it comes with like that skillet. I'll show you guys on the side. It comes with like that skillet and like the Play-Doh, like the oven, I mean, not the skillet, like the stove top. Sorry, <laughs> if I can think of what I'm trying to say. But $5.99 for this, I'm like, one more gift for her, and her Christmas present is done. That's the, we've already had, we already have four Christmas presents, and it's March. All right, baby, so we're going to, oh, yeah, and let me show you guys if I can reach it, the Bath and Body Works haul. Let me see. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. We're leaning, we're leaning. I got some mail in here. I'm going to have to clean this house up. I hope nobody pops by right now because I got stuff all over the place. So, Bath and Body Works, I got my free gift, which was a lotion, and I gave that to my mom, actually. The coupons they send you for free gifts, they really just try to get you in the store. I'm like, oh, it's a free $5.50, so I thought I could use it towards something and pay the difference. It has to be something that's under $5.50, and it couldn't be any of the Germex things, none of the Germex holders. It couldn't be any bath bombs, nothing like that. It had to be these little hand cream. It had to be under $4.50, but it could only be certain things. There was like maybe like two things you could buy with it. It was crazy. But I, so we got this little hand cream and I gave it to my mom. But um, so we used the 20% off your order for this stuff. This was $5.75 and it's a little mermaid Germex holder. I have a snowman right now, so I needed a spring and summer one. So I got a little mermaid one. Isn't that neat? Isn't that cool? It's so shiny. So I got that, and then I got Turquoise Waters Germex, um, Ocean Citrus Germex. Yeah, Mama's gotta put this stuff away. Peach Mango Germex, um, Peach Bellini or something Germex. These both smell good, both of the peach ones. And this is says, want to dance with some bunny, some bunny. And if you can see, it's like got little bunnies on it for Easter. But okay, so guys, that was the Dollar General haul plus a TJ Maxx haul plus a Bath and Body Works haul. So I'm going to end really end the vlog, not vlog, it wasn't really a vlog today, but I'm going to end this video. But first, I'm going to come back with a price and tell you guys what I paid and we'll see kind of the savings. I need to try to find that other receipt. So I'll talk to you guys in a momento. Hey guys, so I wanted to end the video here and tell you guys like kind of what I had paid. So everything, both transactions are supposed to be $25.
each. I did the same transaction at two different Dollar Generals. Each one was supposed to be exactly $25 with the items on sale. So I would have paid 50 bucks before tax. I would have paid $50. I ended up with not getting those $5 off 25. That would have been an additional $10 savings between both stores. Um, I paid around $30. So it's not that bad. I saved $20 for all the stuff I got. I got all name brand things. Um, all like pretty expensive things for 30 bucks. It would have been a lot more than that because the Huggies normal, normal price for the Huggies was $8.50 per pack. So right there is seven, $17. So sorry, I had to think about it for a minute. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that was $17 there just for two packs of the regular price diapers. So I mean, it was a really great deal still. I saved $20. It would have been. Um, I could have got everything for $20 and saved $30, which would have been a lot better, but it didn't work out today and that's okay. One of my friends says she sometimes has to have them type in or use a paper coupon, but if you come along and find this video somehow from the title or you're a Dollar General couponer, maybe if you can explain to me or if you have frustrations yourself how this doesn't work sometimes, Please share it with me and let me know your experience. Um, it was very frustrating and it makes you like kind of lose confidence in couponing there when you're planning on all this stuff working and you've been planning on it working and it doesn't work. It's a little bit discouraging. So especially when it's supposed to work, like it's was all following the rules. I don't see why it didn't work, but yeah, so if you find this video and you're a Dollar General couponer and you like the haul that I was trying to get, did you get it? I don't know. Did, did it work for you today? So let me know what you guys think. So thanks for watching. This is my first couponing video. I'll try to do more of these if I continue to coupon. And um, if it ever works out for me right, but eventually it will. But um, yeah, so please subscribe if you don't follow our channel. We post a lot of... Um, different recipes. I'm trying to do a lot more with this channel and do vlogs and yeah, so please subscribe if you don't and I hope you find this video. So thank you guys for watching.